Hey, poker people. In today's video, I'm going to give you a little how to use Flopzilla session on building ranges. Alrighty, let's get started. On the screen in front of you, you can see Flopzilla. Now, normally when you're using this at home, you're going to see Flopzilla in all of its glory with all the various sections. Today, we are just focused on building ranges, so I'm just going to show you that aspect to it. Um, oh, go ahead right now, whip open Flopzilla for yourself and kind of follow along and do what I'm doing. The more you do and the more you use Flopzilla, the better you'll become with it and the more you'll get out of this valuable software. I literally, no joke, I literally use it every single day in every single study session, guaranteed. So when you're building ranges, there's a few different ways to build them. I'll show you how right now. Um, you can first build them by just clicking on individual hands one at a time. You could also click, hold down, and then drag the cursor around to add a few different hands to the range all at one time instead of the slow, painstaking process of adding them one at a time. Now, if you want to deselect hands from the range, the exact same thing. You can click one at a time or click and hold and then drag it to remove a lot more hands from the range. Look at that super tight three bedding range right here. So let's say that this is the kind of range that uh, you want to build and you want to save for future use, right? A three bedding range right here. What I recommend, and you can see I do it all the time for all these various ranges. I mean, I have ranges from Ed Miller's book, The Course. I have ranges from Nathan Williams and Black Range 79. All these different ranges, some I created myself, others I got elsewhere. But as you're building ranges, you really do want to save them because it makes it so much easier. If you're building ranges from the start every single time, it kind of just adds a lot of time. And if you're constantly building a 15% range, the exact same thing over and over again, save yourself some time and save the ranges. So add a category here. Let's just call it new ranges. And once you have your category created, you can right click on it, uh, give it some different colors. Let's color this bad boy green for our new ranges. Once you have that done, store range. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna store the current range on the board right here. Um, let's call it a three bet of 2%. And now we've got that 2% three bit range. If we hit clear and then double click it, there it is. Let's build this out, not that one, build it out just a little bit more. Uh, maybe not seven, let's go to king, queen suited and ace king, right? So a 6% three betting range. There we go. Now this one's here, the 2% and the 6%. We've got them both for quick and easy future calculations. When we're facing a three bet, it's really easy for us to add the range or um, uh, assign uh, our opponent's range utilizing the saved ranges. There we go. Now, the next way that you might build a range is by using the range slider down here. As you click it and then drag it to the right, the percentage form goes up, the combo count increases, and it starts manually, I'm sorry, not manually, automatically adding hands based on the ranking system that you choose. Now, I normally use the no limit ranking system, and I think this is just Flopzilla's own proprietary uh, ranking system for hands. You can use the other ones like the poker stove, which many of you old hats on the online in the online realm and studying poker, you know poker stove and some of these other ones right here. But I normally use no limit uh, when I use the, the bet slider. Now, as you slide it over, let's build to like, uh, well, okay. Let's imagine we're playing against a player and they decided to just, to just call our open raise pre-flop. They called from the button. Maybe their button calling percentage is normally 13%. And maybe their button three bet is 7%. So they three bet seven, they call 13. Altogether, they play 20% of hands. So we'll just using the, the no limit, we'll slide it out to 20%. And now we have to use a little bit of our own um, logic to determine does this range make sense? Is our opponent really gonna call with king nine and queen nine suited? Maybe we don't think they will. Maybe we think they don't like those hands, but instead, They'll call with every single suited ace. That makes sense. We're still at roughly 20%, but instead of just re relying strictly on the bet slider, we're throwing a little bit of logic in as well. Um, maybe we think they'll never call with queen 10 offsuit, um, but maybe jack 10. So bam, 20%, we're good. Um, but remember, they're calling. They're not three betting us. So we need to remove some hands. We can manually remove the hands if we want. But like I said, we looked at their stats with our HUD and we know that they three bet 7% on the button. So what we can do utilizing the bet slider is bring this over 7%. 
what the bet slider on the left does, this removes the top end of the cards from the range. This adds uh, the lower end, I guess, cards to the range right here. So we're looking at a 13%, oh, yeah, there you can see it, 13% total. So once you use the bet slider, then you can throw a little bit of logic in there. Is our opponent really three betting with pocket eights? That seems more like a calling hand. So let's include that. Let's include nines to the range, but maybe yes, maybe they do three bet with the pocket tens. Queen Jack, that might be a calling hand, but if you think about this opponent, maybe yeah, King Queen does make sense, both of them, because they block pocket kings, they block pocket queens, they block the ace king, the ace queen a little bit. So maybe our opponent is three bet semi bluffing with these hands right here. So that's our final range that we can assign our opponent for calling our two bet on the button, uh, utilizing their stats as a little bit of knowledge and the bet slider down here. Let's clear this. Another way that you can build the ranges is by utilizing these quick hit buttons down here. So all the pocket pairs, bam, 6%. All the broadways, 14%. All the suited hands, 24% right here. Now here's a quick question for you. If somebody plays every single broadway and every single pocket pair, what range do they have? Hopefully you have Flopzilla and you're able to plug that in. Or maybe you already know it right now. Um, it's a very easy one. I, I memorized this a long time ago. It's simply 18% or 17.9 to be exact. Um, 238 combos, every pocket pair, and every Broadway. So this is, an often, this is often a very easy way to start your ranging of your opponent. Once you have these and those, you just build it from there. Yeah, I think my opponent's probably calling with those, maybe calling with every single ace. I know they like suited connectors and suited gappers. Um, I've seen them call with these off-suit connectors before, and I've seen them call um, with offsuit aces occasionally too. So bam, we start off with a simple 18% range, but by thinking about how our opponent has played in the past, we built it up to a 34% range. Whether that's accurate or not, I mean, that depends on the situation and your opponent, but that's how you can quickly build ranges. Now, one thing I occasionally do, and I especially do it for myself, is I will weight the ranges uh, in different hands in one way or the other. So let's say for myself, um, Depending on the opponent I'm up against, maybe I three bet with pocket aces, pocket kings, and pocket queens, maybe 80% each. And 20% of the time, I just like to call to kind of lull them into false sense of security, thinking that I have a weaker hand. So aces, kings, and queens right here, if I assign it a weight of 80% and I simply click on these again, bam. So, oh, hold on a second. Let's remove those weights. So you can see, um, uh, for every pocket pair, there's six combos. All together, one, two, three pocket pairs times six is 18 combos, which is what we see down here. Now, if we have 80% of each, bring over the calculator real quick, 0.8 times 18 means we should have 14.4 combos in our range if we're only playing 80% of them. So let's assign these. 80%, bam, 14.4 combos. So you can see how um, automatically it removes some hands from the range. Uh, and so that's what the waiting function would be for. Now, I don't often use waiting when it comes to my opponent's ranges. Maybe I've seen them call with pocket aces before, and maybe I've seen them three bet, but maybe it's very specific circumstances. Maybe it's against very specific opponents, and I don't really know enough about what goes through my opponent's mind to know that 50% of the time they three bet, 50% of the time they call, you know. Um, and so that is how I use the range builder right here and the various ways that I build the ranges. So get out there, do some more practicing, um, click on some of these other videos that just popped up for various how to use Flopzilla videos and get on this software, use it as much as you can. The more you use Flopzilla, the more ranges and equities and hands, that kind of stuff will just kind of uh, seep its way into your brain and you'll be able to kind of naturally recall it and have kind of an intuition for it when you're on the tables. So thank you very much for watching. Oh, before I forget, hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell to get notified of every new video. Thank you very much.